Us live from Lincoln. Uh, she's finding out more. Hey, Camby. Good morning. So imagine be being able to save yourself money and also give yourself peace of mind. Did you shut the garage door? Maybe you need a reminder to take 80 instead of 50. Oh. There are a lot of things that your home can help you with. I'm just saying, you know, we wake up early. <laughs> you can be forgetful in the morning. And so this is a way to be able to help you. You don't even need to have a smartphone to be able to do something like this. There's a lot of different things you can do. This is a new business, Bill. You just started this back in January. It's called Connected Technology. Now, I see the wires out, which lets me know that I should not be anywhere near this. What are you putting in right now? Actually, we're putting in a control panel for the smart home house. Um, there are a lot of different things that we can do at this house for this customer. We have lighting controls happening for her. Um, we have a ring doorbell. We have some heating and air conditioning controls. We're installing a garage door opener uh, control right now for her. And a lot of different things happen just as she leaves her house naturally. Now, you could do something by uh, putting it with your phone if you always have your phone on you. So when you leave, it knows that you're leaving. Let me take you outside so we can show you here how this is going to work with the garage door opener. And so you also can, if you don't want to do it on your phone, you can have something that's like a key fob, right? And so you would have a little tiny thing that you would keep maybe in your car. And as you leave the house, well, the garage knows, oh, they're leaving, and the garage instantly goes down. You can put these things on timers, right, so that it knows at a certain time, you, this is what time you want your air conditioning to come on. And what about when you leave? Can you make it go to a certain temperature? Yeah, so absolutely. It can work either on timers, but um, really the automation works best uh, just with the occupancy sensor, just to know whether you're home or not. And when you leave, it can close your garage door, lock your front door, turn your air conditioner back to a certain temperature, set your lights to operate in a certain way you want them to go. Now, some people will buy some of these things at like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. They install it, and then they have no idea how to use it. And that's where you guys can come in. You can actually install that and then walk people through how they can use it. But what, do, what does what you do make it better than just installing it yourself? Well, I think probably the biggest thing is that there are some security concerns with smart products. You know, everybody asks questions about, you know, products, whether or not they can be hacked or not. And there are certain safety steps that you want to put in place just to make sure that they are secure. Also, a lot of them have to do with electrical controls or heating and air controls. And if you don't do those right, you can actually cause damage uh, to your property. Okay, coming We're happy to help that out. Yeah, yeah, coming up in the next hour, we are going to show you how all of this stuff works, including if you know someone who lives alone... If this, is, this product is going to change their life. Why you want to have this at your front door. It has to do with the doorbell. Oh, We're going to okay. show you that coming up in the next hour. It's called Connected Technology. Find them if you'd like to make your home a little smarter and save a little money. All right. It's a way of the future. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Can be. Thanks.